YouTubers and welcome back to Deals Prime Review Channel. Today we're going to be doing a live Antutu Benchmark score for the Philips Xenium W8510. It's a quad core phone. And uh, actually, before we do do this, um, I wanted to just show you uh, the back of the unit. It does have two dual SIMs. I forget that I forgot to show you guys this inside uh, the unboxing and review. So it's a SIM one, SIM two reset button here and uh, micro SD card slot here and uh, so you just pop the case open on the side here right there okay so uh, we have uh, downloaded the Antutu benchmark test and uh, let's just uh, install it and uh, so this is on 224. So this is going to be a really interesting uh, review. We've only done about four or five uh, and 224 benchmark tests. And it started, it should take about, uh, it should take around three minutes for this com to complete. Now, uh, just want to remind you to check out part one. Unboxing review, we show you the free YouTube promo gifts. You need to ask for the gifts during checkout um, in order for us to include the gifts. Showed you uh, the build of the phone. Uh, of course, we didn't show you the SIM card slots, but uh, we did to just now. Also, the accessories and uh, also just the box. We went over some of the specs. Check out part two where we go in depth, check out the pre installed apps, do some web browsing. And uh, this, of course, is part three. So uh, we've been waiting for this phone for a while now. It's powered by 1.2 gigahertz and 22, sorry, MTK uh, 8569 CPU. It has an 8 megapixel uh, camera, megapixel camera on the back. On the front, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see what Antutu says it is. It's running Android 4.2.2 and uh, the battery life I think you can talk 12 hours continuous or uh, for internet around 10 hours continuous so uh, nice uh, hefty battery has Bluetooth of course WCDMA and GSM are both supported you can go to the uh, product link, which is uh, or the product page, which uh, the link is inside our YouTube video description. So it has micro USB 2.0 port, 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo audio jack. So the front camera it looks like it's uh, two megapixels, and uh, it's quad band GSM. 850, 900, 1800, and 9, 1900. WCMA, uh, HSPA, 21 megahertz. Screen is uh, 1280 by 720p, 4.7 inch. So we'll have to see what uh, Antutu says. We'll actually zoom in a little bit more so we can see the results a little bit better. <clears throat> one gigabyte RAM, four gigabyte ROM, supports up to thirty-two gigabyte memory cards, and uh, Power VR SGX five forty-four GPU, ninety percent, about one minute, probably less than a minute now. Power count to 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So, uh, where is our device? My device, 13,744. Nice, respectable uh, score for a quad core phone. And uh, let's go to the details. Okay, so uh, I, I won't. Uh, read out each one of these, I'll just scroll and then you can pause the screen. 
Okay, so we've gone down to GPU. Pause. And uh, the I.O. is down there at the, at the very bottom. Now let's go to device info. Okay. So you can pause there. MTK6589 CPU. Clocks up to 1.2 GHz. And again, you can uh, pause the screen. So the front camera is 1.9 megapixels. And again, I'll pause. Or you can pause. And this is the last update on July 26, the firmware. So it supports GPS, supports HGPS. And uh, you can pause the screen again there. Okay, so this just about wraps up uh, this Live and 22 Benchmark review for the Philips Xenium W8510. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out part one unboxing where we show you the free gift, part two in depth, and we'll see you next time.